For doctors and nurses on the front lines, a new weapon in the fight against COVID-19, an antiviral medication proven effective in clinical trials. Dr. Fauci announced the breakthrough at the White House. The data shows that remdesivir has a clear-cut, significant, positive effect in diminishing the time to recovery. This is really quite important. The drug is remdesivir, made by Gilead Sciences. It comes in IV form administered to the sickest COVID patients. The drug trials involved nearly 1,100 people worldwide. The preliminary NIH data showed remdesivir cut the recovery time in the hospital from 15 to 11 days. The mortality rate also dropped, though not dramatically, from 11.6% for those on the placebo to 8% for those on remdesivir. I narrowly avoided a ventilator. Arnold Wegg, himself a doctor, was given remdesivir in the ICU along with an anti-inflammatory drug, Actemra. He says he quickly began recovering. My personal experience with the remdesivir and the uh, Actemra make me feel very strongly that it should be used. This is um, remdesivir versus placebo for one of our patients. Emory University Hospital in Atlanta ran the largest of the NIH clinical trials. Remdesivir will get many of our patients home to their families more rapidly and with less side effects. Remdesivir was originally designed to treat Ebola patients, but for seven years, researchers at Vanderbilt University have been convinced it could save lives in a new coronavirus pandemic. I'm very encouraged and I'm very optimistic, uh, particularly if we think of using this in patients as they have earlier disease and are progressing. Sickest you've ever been. Sickest I've ever been, yes. In Philadelphia, Mike Dewan was on a ventilator for 17 days. Doctors gave him remdesivir as a last resort. Because he was so sick, and they were kind of thinking, we have nothing to lose. If it can help him, great, because he was, you know, needing something. Tonight, the president is calling on the FDA to quickly approve remdesivir as a frontline go-to treatment. It can only be given an IV form in a hospital. The NIH findings are so far not peer-reviewed, but Gilead is ramping up production of the drug. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.